Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robbie Craig of the Flip Flop Flipper. Today I'm gonna to give you three ways that you can start as a real estate investor, really with no money at all. You don't have to have a rich daddy, you don't have to have a rich uncle, you don't have to have a great job, good credit, money in the bank, none of that is necessary. And I'm gonna tell you how, I'm gonna give you three strategies. By the end of this video, you're gonna be able to go and start your business and become an entrepreneur and a real estate investor. Let's get into this. So first, we did another video a while back where we said money is not the most important part of the thing. And I stand by what I said then and I'll say it again now. The deal is the most important part of a real estate transaction. If you're a real estate investor, buying it right is everything. So for you guys out there, who are just starting out in this real estate world, you need to keep that in mind. If you don't buy it right, you can't absorb the problems, but if you do buy it right, you can fix all of the other problems. And that's what's so great for someone who's just starting out. That's why I tell people every day, and I get comments really almost every day that say, oh yeah, well, of course you can start a business because you had a rich father. Of course you can start a business because you had this privilege or that privilege. But the truth is guys, People start businesses every day. They don't have rich families. They don't have come from money. They don't have a silver spoon in their mouth and you don't need that stuff. You need to get away from that mindset. I know that it's been kind of just driven into us again and again throughout our lives. Money doesn't grow on trees. You have to have money to make money. These are limiting mindsets, guys. These are things that the world tells us and 98% of the people out there are never gonna be able to do what you're about to do. They're never gonna start their own business. They're never gonna get off of the couch and get away from the video games. They're never going to become real estate investors because they think this way, because they allow themselves to let this poison into their mind and believe that if they don't have money, they can't start a business or if they don't have good credit, they can't buy real estate. Guys, it's all false. Real estate is the best investment in the world for many, many reasons, but one of them, maybe the biggest one is, is that if you have an ability to find a great deal, money finds a deal. It's happened throughout my life for years and years, and it will happen throughout yours, guys. Remember that, repeat this mantra, money finds a deal, money finds a deal. Great ideas find a good deal. So if you want to start a business and you've got a solid business plan and you can present it to people who are investing in businesses, great business ideas will find the money. You don't have to have the money to get started. But here are three ways that you can start with no money, no credit right now. Get going in your business today. Number one, property wholesale. Guys, you've all heard about this. What is wholesaling? Wholesaling is going out and finding the great deal. We call them the deal of a lifetime, a deal where you know that it's going to make money and you make the offer, you get it under under contract and then you start shopping it to your investor list. Put me on your buyers list, guys. If you're starting out and you're you're creating a, an investor buyers list, Robbie Craig or the Flip Flop Flipper wants to be on your list. Send me emails at the Flip Flop Flipper PR at gmail.com about your deals. Let's talk about the stuff that you find. If you've got great deals and you need the money, I'm somebody that could potentially buy the deal from you if you're a wholesaler. So keep that in mind, add me to your buyer's list. Wholesale, real quick, you buy it low. Say you buy it for 50 cents on the dollar, you sell it to another investor for 60 cents on the dollar. You keep the spread. You don't have to have really any money at all to do that. You just have to look at a lot of properties and make offers on a lot of properties. You will be able to find the deals. If you're making 10 offers a day, 15 offers a day, looking at 100 properties a week, there's going to be outliers. There's going to be good deals. Now, the problem with wholesaling, I think, is that it's just a first step. It's uh, real estate investing with training wheels. So you want to eventually, as soon as you can, become a real estate investor where you're investing your own cash. You do this wholesale thing to get started because you don't have any money. I did it. Every real estate investor throughout history has probably done it and we would still do it, right? So there's, there's always a time and a place for wholesale. But what I encourage on this channel is value add real estate investing. And so that's why you like and subscribe to our channel. We want to get you into wholesaling, start your business you can do it with no money and then do that for a few and then move on to where you're actually investing into these deals with your own money and you send your money out to recruit more money we've got other content on that guys we talk about this all the time so property wholesale is one way that you can start becoming a real estate investor and you really don't have to have any money. Number two, and this is one of our favorites, joint ventures, guys. You're starting out in real estate and you've joined Robbie Craig, the Flip Flop Flipper here. You're a part of our community. You've smashed that subscribe button. You're commenting every day on the great videos that we put out and we're having these discussions. You can joint venture with other people who are part of our community or you could joint venture with us. This is how we 
want to expand our business. So again, on the first wholesaler, I said, put me on as a buyer's list. But if you want to do joint ventures with experienced real estate investors like myself, like Jerry Norton, like Pace Morby, all of the guys that are out there on the old, on the old interwebs there, if you find a great deal and you bring someone a joint venture property, we'd love to look at it. If it's a good deal, we want to do it with you. And so you joint venture with someone who's got more experience than you. You joint venture with somebody who's maybe got the cash. What you bring to the table is you found the deal. That's really, really important. And maybe you're gonna take the ball and run with it. You're gonna be an operator. You're gonna try to make sure that the property gets renovated. You're gonna handle the day to day and you're gonna make life easy for someone who's a little bit further down the road than you. So I'm personally in my life, I'm looking to do joint ventures with many different people. For instance, I do joint ventures with the Don all the time. We, we've done four or five and we're gonna do 500. We're going to do 5,000. We're, we're going to hopefully do this for a long, long time because, hey, I'm 52 years old. I probably only have another 30 or 40 years that I can go hard like this. But to Don, he can go for 100 more years. So we're going to keep going. Guys, through this joint venture process, by partnering with people who've done it before, who are a step ahead of you, that's where you're going to get the growth. You can learn so much by getting yourself involved into a joint venture partnership and it can work both ways, right? So let's assume you want to be a real estate investor, but you don't want to do all of the work, but you have some money. So you've you've been saving up in, in life, working that W-2 job and you've got a 401k and it's got a couple hundred thousand in it, but it's not growing quite fast enough. You're quickly coming up to retirement. You don't want to lose your money. So you want to start getting into real estate for cash flow and appreciation you can joint venture with someone who doesn't have the money, but has a skill set, someone who can find a great deal, someone who can get that deal renovated to its highest and best use and create that cash flow and manage that property on the day to day. So again, we, we do these types of partnerships with people all of the time. Money is one side of the equation. The other side of the equation, finding the deal, operating the deal, fixing the deal, figuring out the highest and best use. All of these things are ways that you can find partnerships. People have different skill sets. So I might be really, really good at finding a deal, but I don't have any money. And someone else has done a fabulous job of, of working the nine to five for 20 years and they've got a few hundred thousand dollars and now you wanna get involved in real estate, but you don't wanna spend the time and the effort that it takes to go find the great deal and to manage the renovation and figure out the highest and best use. So you guys could partner there. You could also have someone who's a, in the construction business and you've been doing this construction business for your whole life and you're really good at turning these properties around and you're watching real estate developers and real estate investors make a ton of money on the stuff that you're building and you say hey you know what i want to do that i want to find a deal i want to put in my sweat equity so i'll come in mr flip flop flipper and i'll renovate the property for you at cost i'll manage the construction i'll take all of the headaches i'll get the permits i'll do this and i'll put some money in and there's joint ventures that can come out of this joint ventures are probably one of my very favorite ways to do real estate and in fact we do more joint ventures with people than probably anything else. So we're, we are property wholesalers, we are value add real estate investors, but we always partner with locals in Puerto Rico, for instance. And we often partner with people who are like-minded in Florida when we're when we're doing flips and when we're doing rental properties there. So this, this idea of joint venturing, where you find a one plus one equals five, hopefully. So you've got a skill set over here and you partner with someone else who's got a different skill set. It makes a beautiful marriage. And when you can find that good joint venture partnership, you guys can do deal after deal after after deal and I'm telling you if you're just watching this for the first time and you're thinking you want to be a real estate investor joint ventures is something that you should look into because you don't have to have the money to do it you have to have a good mental attitude probably you're gonna to need to find a deal or you're gonna to have to have a skill set that you're really good at that someone else doesn't have and you bring something to the table and you can joint venture with someone for sweat equity so don't forget about joint ventures number three the last one that I'm gonna give you for today's video that you can start today without any money without any credit and you can do it anyone who's listening to my voice can do this right now guys and I think that for this strategy there really hasn't ever been a better time to get involved with seller financing or subject to. I'm gonna lump them together. Seller financing and buying property subject to. Why do I lump them together? Well, recently interest rates were at all time lows. So they, they were down under like 3%, which is 
crazy, crazy low. When you factor in inflation, people were borrowing money under three. And if they still have those loans now, and let's say the inflation rate is 7%, then they're borrowing that money for less than free, which is pretty damn good. If you can borrow money for free with no interest, that's great. If you can borrow money for less than free, that's really, really powerful stuff. But there are houses and there are properties out there where they've got this tremendous 30 year fixed mortgages in place and they're two, three years old or they're maybe five or six years old. It doesn't matter. They're not that old. They've got all kinds of equity starting to build up and they're getting to the point where the mortgages are going to be starting to pay down more rapidly. So when people borrow that money, the first on a 30 year fixed, the first five to 10 years is really just paying off interest. But if you can take over somebody's mortgage, buying houses subject to at these low interest rates, that's why I say this has never been a better time to be looking for this and you don't have to have a lot of money to do it. Also, you can implement the other two strategies through this. So part of finding a great deal could be taking over somebody's three and a half percent mortgage on a 30 year fixed loan on a single family home and you get the person who's in trouble, say they're in foreclosure or they're, they're gonna lose their property to a tax deed. There's all kinds of reasons that people can get themselves in a bind and they need the way out. I say real estate superheroes come to the rescue and you figure out a way that they don't see and you get them out and you make some money in the spread. It's a great way for someone who's starting out in real estate to get into the real estate game and get yourself out of the rat race, start becoming an entrepreneur and you don't have to have a lot of money. So this video is all about this lie that we're told again and again, and, and guys, I'm guilty of it just like anybody else. Sometimes I think to myself, even though I've trained myself over years to not think this way, but sometimes I think I can't afford that. You know where I do that? I, I say that about when I'm looking for a house and, and the houses that we want on Puerto, in the island of Puerto Rico, they all cost a ton of money. We, we sold our house recently and we thought we got a great number for it. What we didn't realize was that everything had gone up in value. And so when we went shopping for the next house, it was gonna be a million plus for something that we like. And, and I think to myself, I can't afford that. I'm pretty well off, I do pretty well. How could anyone afford that? And I find myself putting those limiting beliefs on myself. And I know that we're all guilty of it. So you have to remember, get away from the limiting beliefs. Don't believe that you can't afford or that you can't do something. I've just given you three ways that you can become a real estate investor and you don't have to have any money to do it. Yeah, so guys on, on this, I'm lumping together seller finance and subject two because I really like the idea of taking over these mortgages subject to at the low interest rates, but you don't have to. You can go to people who own things outright. Like for instance, we own a bunch of stuff without any debt on the island of Puerto Rico and we are selling with seller financing. So what does that mean? That means that the seller is the bank. And so you come in and you buy something that the seller doesn't want. I'll give you an example of that. I have two houses in Jacksonville, Florida. I used to have 35 houses in Jacksonville, Florida. So I'm down to two houses in Jacksonville, Florida. And guys, I don't like to go to Jacksonville, Florida. It's my least favorite town in all of Florida. And so I just don't see myself wanting to go there to deal with these two houses. So what I would do is I would sell them to someone with seller financing. I would make it extremely easy for someone to buy those houses from me and I would be the bank. I would want a down payment, of course. So you maybe have to do a joint venture with someone who has money if you don't have any. And then you'd take over the house, you'd rent it out, you'd pay me something monthly and you'd collect the spread. Those kind of deals are out there. They're out there every day. There are sellers like me, tired landlords are a good place to look. People who are losing things to tax deed sales often have properties that they've forgotten about or they don't want. And you could go and negotiate a seller financed deal and you don't really have to have much money to do it. If you go to negotiate this deal and you still need to have money and you don't have any, then look back to the other two, either wholesale it or consider doing a joint venture with someone who does have the money. So these three strategies, guys, can get you into the real estate investment game today. No excuses. Stop with this bullshit mindset that you don't have any money and that you can't because of whatever people are telling you. You guys gotta get rid of the limiting beliefs. Money is abundant. Let me just end with this. Have you guys seen, and I said earlier, money doesn't grow on trees and you gotta have money to make money. Well, money may not grow on trees, but it sure as hell gets printed on a printing press. And if you don't think there's a lot of money out there right now, you just haven't been paying attention because our government's been printing money like it's the only thing that they wanna do. So even now as they've, for the last 18 months, maybe slowed down on the printing press, they're still printing money. We're still spending billions of dollars sending it to people who are having wars around the world. There's no excuse to believe 
that money is scarce. Money's not scarce. Money is abundant. Money's there for great deals. I'll say it, I'll, I'll go to my grave saying this, if you've got a great deal, money will find your great deal, whether that's a business or whether that's a piece of real estate. So guys, let me wrap this up for you. The three ways that you can start in real estate investing without having any money of your own and you don't even need good credit or anything, all you've got to do is have a plan and go out and find the great deal of a lifetime. You can do that through wholesale, you can do that through joint ventures, and you can do that through buying subject to or with seller financing. And guys, look how these things play with each other. They play really, really nice. You put these three kids out on the playground and they are doing deals together. If you're a wholesaler and you find a great deal that you can have subject to a 3% mortgage, there's a whole buyer's pool that you can go then and sell to or partner with. Or if you're out there and you're looking for subject to deals and you don't have any cash to come with the down payment, there's a whole group of people that have money that want to do a joint venture with you. They want you to find the deal. The deal finds the money, guys. I just got to keep saying this. I'm going to keep pounding it into your head like you've had it pounded in your head your whole life that you got to have money to make money. Bullshit. Here's what you need to pound in your head. Money will always find a great deal. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Watch this video next. Thanks for watching. God bless.